Hi everyone, my name is Harika. Uh, today uh, my presentation theme is uh, Frontera. Uh, Frontera is the uh, largest uh, um, what, what was that? Uh, largest dairy uh, oh. product company um, that's oh, okay. dominating the uh, New Zealand's dairy uh, industry. And today I'm going to talk about Frontera's functional, uh, functional level and business level strategies. In this presentation, uh, I am going to talk about functional level strategy. What is it? And how Fonterra use functional level strategy? And what should they focus on now? And then the business level strategy and how they are using business level strategies. And what should they focus on now? Functional level strategies. Um, the functional level strategy is the action and goals focusing on efficiency, innovation, quality, customer re uh, responsiveness. Um, these are the these are the goals that set by variety departments of the company that support business level strategies and corporate level strategies and also to obtain better performance in operation. In terms of Fonterra functional level strategies, uh, Fonterra focuses on quality of their product. Um, no need to say, but the product quality um, is the top priority of the any business, um, especially for the food industry. Um, as it could directly affect consumers and ultimately the sales. Poor operation performance leads to poor quality and the poor quality led to less customer satisfaction. But if they have a, a very quality product, that will lead to a great customer satisfaction and then lead to the sales. Um, if the quality isn't up to standard um, and couldn't satis uh, satisfy uh, the customers, they will never buy the product again. Um, and in some cases, they will probably never buy any products from your, uh, from your company ever again. Uh, Fonterra has a new uh, scheme called Cooperative Difference Payment. Um, if the farm produces high quality and sustainable milk, uh, Frontier pays the farmer extra money. So this is basically like a reward of producing a good uh, quality milk. Um, this aims to um, uh, motivate and encourage farmers to adapt changes of the customer needs and demands and also to produce even better quality products with a higher standard. And another thing that Frontera does um, is innovating the tracing system called SAP, SAP Global Batch Tracing System. Um, this uh, system is to allocate the products to location and also to look where the products originally uh, came from. And this system is put in place in 12 countries worldwide with 430,000 electronic sensors to allocate the products whereabouts. And none of the other dairy company has used this um, system. And this system has given uh, the consumers um, extra values in terms of safety. And moving on to, um, so what should they focus on now? Um, because they already have high quality products and using innovative system, uh, what they, should focus on now 
is to get more skilled workforce um, in order to keep leading the New Zealand dairy industry and expand business worldwide. Uh, Fontara needs to uh, recruit or train um, more skilled workforce uh, with advanced knowledge of new technologies. Um, this will not only help them produce even more innovative product, uh, but to help them run the business smoothly and effectively under the fast moving market trends. And moving on to the business level strategies. Business level strategies, uh, differentiation in cost leadership is used to attain both competitive uh, position in the market and also to provide values to the customers. These strategies are set specifically targeted their target market and customers. Uh, Fontera first needs to um, analyze their target market, what are their needs and demands, and what they value. And then they uh, develop appropriate business level strategies and to attain a competitive position in the market and provide values to the customers. Um, Frontera using um, differentiation strategy um, to make its product stand out in the market. Uh, for example, uh, increasing demand of sustainability, uh, Fonterra has introduced New Zealand's first carbon zero milk, simply milk, uh, into the market this year. And also, um, while the other competitors like Open Country Dairy also produce milk with a grass-fed non-GMO source milk, um, the Frontera produced a milk um, with the lowest carbon footprint, uh, footprint produced anywhere in the world. So now the consumers can um, enjoy the milk, uh, enjoy the products, knowing that they are contributing to save uh, the environment and as well as to enjoy that product. And moving on to so what they should have focused on now. Uh, what they should have focused, uh, focused on now to improve their business performance and um, achieve its goal. First and foremost, um, it is important for uh, Frontera to have property uh, plan goals and target, and it's important to regularly monitor and evaluate um, their production activities along with uh, the quality of its product. Uh, for example, with the very newly uh, introduced Simply Milk, uh, Frontier should uh, regularly follow up their production activities how are the production activities? Um, are they going well? Is there anything that needs to be changed? Um, and what are the outcomes? And how are the quality of the raw materials? Are they still up to a standard or they need to change? Any problems with distribution system? Uh, how are the customers' reactions? Um, do the customers like the product? Um, they should regularly uh, monitor and check and evaluate all these um, uh, all these things um, in order to improve their business performance and achieve its goals. Um, that's all from me for now. I think. <laughs> Thank you. Any questions? How do you think that they could improve their tracking system according to what you said about the 
contamination on the carbon footprint. How do they? How can they improve their tracking system? How do they improve? Yes. How do they could improve their tracking system? You said that they are tracking, tracking all system. of their yes, all of their products. All tracking the system. Yeah. yeah. But they are really focused on the footprint of the product. So how do you <coughs> think that? No, no. This is this yeah. um. This tracing system is an uh, innovative system. Yeah. yeah. And well, when you buy the product, especially food, you want to know where the product comes from. You need to know for safety reasons, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, how, it, how many of you here actually check the label of the product when you buy the product? Mm -hmm. Did, no? no? Really? <laughs> like you do? Um, yeah. Like um, nutrients, like what type of yeah, it, where it's made, that. and yes. yeah, you yes. want to know that, yes. right? So this is um, what they're doing uh, for the for the purpose of giving the customers a safety, um, yeah, safety values. So this is um, not related to the um, what was it? Supreme. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you.